Hi and welcome to this video about Pi Network Browser. Pi Network Browser is a new web browser that has been designed to give users a secure and private online experience. It's an open source browser and has a focus on privacy and security. The first thing you'll notice when you open Pi Network Browser is its clean and simple interface. It's easy to navigate, and you won't be bombarded with ads or other distractions. Pi Network Browser is also designed to be user-friendly. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it's easy to download and install. You'll be up and running in no time, and you'll be able to enjoy a more secure and private online experience. Now, listen to Dr. Mikolas Kokolis, the founder of Pi Network, as he explains the Pi Browser. Hello, Pioneers. Today, we're introducing two major products of Pi Network the Pi Browser, and the mobile version of the Pi Wallet. In fact, it is the Pi Browser which allows you to access the Pi Wallet directly from your mobile phone. And to install the Pi Browser for the first time, tap on the Pi Browser menu item of the side menu of this app and follow the instructions there. The instructions will ask you to install our brand new mobile application that is the Pi Browser, and after installation, the two apps will talk to each other and the Pi Browser this way will automatically sign you in to your Pi account. If for some reason this automatic, automatic process doesn't work the first time and the browser doesn't sign you in automatically, then just simply go back to the same Pi Browser menu here where you started and tap on the button again. This process does not necessarily need to be repeated. You can visit the Pi Browser directly in the future after you're signing in. By installing and having the Pi Browser and being signed in into it, if you want to access the Pi Wallet there, you can do so by visiting the URL wallet.py. But what is the Pi Browser and why do we need it? Well, the brand new Pi Browser aims to create a more open and direct Pi utilities platform where developers can easily develop, test and deploy Pi applications and pioneers can try them and use them. This is basically the new interface for the Pi apps or utilities platform. Keep in mind that being a first beta version, as a general purpose web browser, it is still a bit primitive, but it is the only browser that can support Pi applications. And you can expect, obviously, that there will be improvements and more features to be added later by us. Last week, we launched the Desktop Pi Wallet to every pioneer, and today we are launching the mobile version of the Pi Wallet that lives inside the Pi Browser. So, if you have not created your wallet through the desktop version, you can download the Pi Browser app and create your wallet there. If you have already created your wallet on the desktop last week, you can now access the same wallet using the same passphrase uh, on your mobile phone through the Pi Browser and safely store your passphrase on your phone through fingerprints or Face ID. The Pi Wallet is an important milestone in Pi's strategy of progressive decentralization towards the mainnet because every pioneer will be able to interact with the testnet now and the testnet blockchain through their wallets by making test Pi transactions. Setting up your wallet now prepares you for accessing your real Pi when we enter mainnet down the line. And testing transactions now helps us make improvements in the scalability of the Pi blockchain and the Pi mainnet down the line. Why are the Pi Wallet and Pi Browser bundled together, you might ask? Well, having the wallet accessible inside the Pi Browser will ultimately allow future Pi applications in traditional businesses to easily integrate Pi and Pi payments and interact with the Pi blockchain. This will enable pioneers to have seamless decentralized web experiences, in other words, easily perform Pi blockchain transactions when visiting specific Pi application websites. This is actually a big evolution of the Pi Utilities platform and the core team's effort to build the Pi ecosystem. The core team will determine with the community's feedback, of course, as to whether we will continue to maintain two mobile applications, like this mining application and the browser application, or whether we will merge them together into one in the future. But for now, there are two distinct mobile apps. Next. I will give a more detailed introduction 
to Pi Browser. The Pi Browser intends to provide the web experience into a decentralized world. In addition to supporting any traditional web applications like existing web browsers too, the Pi Browser will enable people to browse, interact, transact, in, in, and transact in decentralized applications, applications essentially that integrate with blockchain technology for a seamless and friendly user experience. Additionally, the Pi Browser will have a directory of selected apps and its own DNS system to support a whole new class of .py domains. For example, current apps like the Pi Wallet, Pi Chat, Mining and Brainstorm will be accessible by typing respectively wallet.py, chats.py, mine.py and brainstorm.py in the URL field of the browser. In the future, more Pi applications by third-party developers will be selected and be added to the directory and be able to register .py domains uh, to uh, access uh, to be accessed through those domains and those URLs. And in the meantime, developers will be able to start iterating on their apps through their own non-Py domains. The Pi Browser is a more open Pi apps platform because it enables developers to test and deploy the applications that they make and integrate with the Pi testnet, the Pi wallet, and other elements of the Pi technology stack. It can do this without the limitation of the approval process or confinement of the old Pi Utilities platform inside the Pi Mining application because anyone, any pioneer, can visit any website freely on the Pi browser. By contrast, it used to be that apps must be selected by the core team to be embedded in the Pi Utilities platform inside the Pi Mining application. No that we will be updating the Pi platform SDK to also integrate with the testnet and perform test Pi transactions for Pi applications, allowing developers to test their Pi apps on the testnet as well with users and having users accessing those apps directly from their own domains using, uh, uh, during test. Moreover, as Pi network becomes more decentralized, the browser will be able to match the network's decentralization process. Ultimately, in the future, pioneers can access both Pi apps listed on the Pi directory and unlisted apps directly through the URLs and make the ultimate decisions of whether those apps are trustworthy or not without the strict oversight of the Pi core team. Through this vision, the selection process for the directory would not necessarily impede good apps from being developed, deployed, tested, and used by pioneers. Well, that's it for now. Go try the Pi browser, set up your Pi wallets, and send some test Pi to your friends. And remember, test Pi is not real Pi, and it's only for testing transactions on the Pi testnet. Test Pi is the currency of the testnet blockchain. Subscribe to our Pi Whales YouTube channel and earn high rewards.